Hello everyone. I have to make a couple of new valve stems for the plumbing shop at work and this has a double start stub acme thread. Um, I took a tool that I had previously ground for acme threads and just repurposed it a little bit and reground the tip so that it would fit into the threads that are here. I just used the old part as my template. Since this is a double start stub acme, I don't happen to have the thread specs laying around for that, so I'm going with a comparison measurement. I'm taking these two wires that just stick up over the threads, and I'm going to measure the original part with that, and then just recreate that measurement on the new thread. These wires are really far apart, and I don't have a disc micrometer, so I'm going to have to do this with calipers. Uh, it's not the most accurate way, but it's the only thing I've got, and uh, this is a, um, a poor facsimile of what I have to do for this because I can't really keep it in frame. Anyway, trust me, I'll measure it off camera and get everything that I need and then transfer it over to the new piece. Again, since this is a double start thread, I'm going to have to cut one thread at a time. So I have to cut one in its entirety before I move on to the next one. That's why it's really important to get the measurements beforehand. The thread I'm cutting has a pitch of a quarter inch, so it looks like four threads per inch. Since it's double start though, I have to have the machine set at two threads per inch. And like I said, I'll have to cut the first thread in its entirety and then cut the second thread after I'm finished with that one. To do that, I have the compound of the lathe set parallel to the lathe axis. Once I've cut the first thread, I'll move over by the pitch of the thread to cut the second one. You can see I've got my threading tool all set up, and this has got the correct thread profile. And I know from the first part that I made exactly how far in I need to move. The thread depth is 66 thousandths of an inch, or 132 off the diameter, which is almost all the way to that surface right there. Once I get that cut, I'll measure it, make sure that it's right, and then I'll move on and cut the second thread. My roughing cuts were all 20 thousandths of an inch, which is really heavy, especially on a thread this wide. But it's brass, and I knew the machine would do it, and it wasn't going to ruin the tool. Now however, I'm only 12 thousandths away, so I'm going to take two lighter passes of 5 thousandths of an inch, and save 2 thousandths for the last pass. I moved the tool way back over here so that I could get in there and measure with the thread wires. Uh, I need a fair amount of room since I'm going to be measuring this with calipers. In case you're wondering, this is a Monarch lathe that we have at work, and it is a beauty to thread on, mostly because it has this feed release here. 
When this hits the knob over here, which of course you can adjust back and forth, and that's a fine adjustment, it kicks the feed out. You can make all your adjustments so the tool stops right there in the, in the thread relief, and then you just reverse the feed using this handle right over here to get it back to the beginning of the thread. All I need to do is engage the half nuts the first time, and the feed rod can only be engaged at one spot, so it will always follow that thread. You can actually thread at much higher speeds than this. I'm currently at 59 RPM, but I could easily go quite a bit faster. I think this is going to be pretty much impossible to do while holding the camera, but what I'm going to try is putting two wires up here and the third one down on the bottom, and then measuring across with calipers down the axis of the machine. Again, I'm using calipers for this because I don't have a micrometer with a wide enough face. Even if I had a disc micrometer, I'm not really sure the face would be wide enough to bridge the gap between these pins. So I'm going to use calipers. I know it's not ideal. Please don't flame me down in the comments. I'll do the measurement off camera because I know I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed. So I'll be back in just a moment. My thread is looking good and I'm ready to cut the second one. I'll cut that to exactly the same depth as the first one using the crossfeed. But first, I need to move the tool over by the pitch of the thread using the compound. The compound is set parallel to the lathe axis, as I mentioned before, and I just need to move the tool over where it needs to go. I'd like to point out that this is only one way to cut multi-start threads, and it's a very reliable one in this case. Uh, but I'll do a video in the future on cutting multiple start threads in different ways. Before I cut the other thread, I need to make a few other adjustments to the machine. First and foremost, I want to verify that the second thread is going to end up in between the first one, and it looks like it will. That's pretty centered. I'd say that looks quite good, in fact. The other thing I need to adjust is the feed stop on the machine. So I'm making sure that my tool is well away from the part and I'm going to turn it back on and see where it stops. Now you can see I've got quite a lot of adjustment to do to get it to land in that thread relief. I'll do that off camera because that's not the subject of this video. We are ready to go for the second pass and I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to watch it in real time again. Let's go ahead and skip forward to the finish passes, and this is done exactly the same as before. I roughed it all in relatively deep, and then I did two five thousandths passes and one two thousandths pass with a spring pass at the end just to remove any last little bit of material. Well, that's my thread all done. I'll measure the second thread as well, of course, and uh, I'll actually measure them at the same time. I'll do that off camera again. Uh, the only thing left to do will be to deburr the ends. I'll just get a file and uh, round over this paper thin little burr at the uh, beginning and end of each of the threads. And then I'll take it over to the mill and machine the 5 8 square on the end. Uh, of course, I'll do that after I part it off. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider hitting like and subscribe down below. Check out my Patreon page as well, the link's down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.